Hello everyone and welcome back to New Pantheon Academia. I'm your host and fun gay uncle Stephen Pope and this is uh, Saving Throw Show's original anime inspired game brought to you with Overarms. Now available at drivethroughrpg.com. Bing! Fun gay uncle, is that Fuguncle instead of Funkle? Funkle. That's just fun uncle. That's not fun <laughs> gay uncle. Yeah. Mm. I'm not sure. Uh, let me know what the, uh, I guess, is that a portmanteau? It sounds like a portmanteau. Yes, yes. that is the yeah, definition of a portmanteau. Yeah, tell me, let me know what the portmanteau is in the chat. Okay, we'll check that out later. Um, we are also, but we do have a sponsor this week, I'm very happy to say. We are brought to you by Die Hard Dice. Check out a wide assortment of math rocks that go clicky clack all over at Die Hard Dice. They've got dice sets to suit every mood, every whim, and every system, all reasonably priced. Enter code exclamation point D-H-D-I-C-E in chat, or go straight to dieharddice.com, enter code natural20 at checkout and save 10% off your first order. Thank you very much, Die Hard Dice. Now that I got that out of the way, let's go ahead and meet our table, starting with the man who has more drip than Piccolo, CB, AKA Critical Bard. <laughs> He's in pain now. <laughs> the minute you said drip, I know I knew where this was going. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anglo Saxons. And then you, hello, hi. I am a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hi, my name is Omega Jones, also known as a Critical Bard. A critical Bard across all social media channels. I'm that boy with the drip, apparently. Uh, I'm an actor, vocalist, uh, content creator, um, host, moderator, hot mess incarnate. And today I am playing Kawame Akinimi, uh, who is a really cool cat who likes to talk with his silver tongue. Uh, and uh, my divinity is Anansi, the West African god, trickster god of stories. Um, just to piggyback really quickly on that Die Hard Dice thing, though, you support the show, which means you support me, which means I get no money from it. But hey, if you support me in the show, I do have dice with Die Hard Dice. So get them right. and also use their code to support them and also do me. Uh, do me, don't do me. Uh, yes, the Forte section, you can go look it up. I'm done, I'm, I'm done talking, bye. <laughs> I'm confused, are we supposed to do you? Are we not supposed to do, I don't know. I think it's mixed I don't, I don't know, I'm uncomfortable. I'm a fine. married woman, I don't know what you're asking me to do. Okay. <laughs> Next up, she fell through a well and is now in a love triangle with two half demon brothers. It's R.I.P. Mika. Yes. I love Half Demon Brothers. Uh, hi, everyone. I am RP Mika. Uh, you can just call me Mika. Um, I'm a streamer. I'm an actor. I'm a wannabe voice actor. And I, I think I'm fun to be around. <laughs> I play Dahlia Wingrove, who is uh, our lovable little theater kid, much like most people in this, in this chat right now. Uh, and her divinity is Persephone, goddess of the underworld, and also wheat and vegetation <laughs> there's overlap there i'm sure you no know, yeah. yeah death by ne bread yeah. next up we want them to get in the goddamn robot it's eric why hello i i yeah i my name is eric and i am a a, a streamer and an improviser and occasionally an author and uh, I'm playing Lennox Thatcher, the the former captain of the football team, uh, who is has the power of Ninkasa, Sumerian god of of beer, which is bread. It's just liquid. And finally, they are the only person able to isekai themselves into any situation. Aki. Hi, everybody. I'm Aki, and I guess if we're given our credentials, I am a. A, role, a professional role play gamer and uh, streamer and uh, producer, writer. <sighs> so many hats. So many hats. And they don't look nearly as good on me as they do as on Steven. Um, uh, and I play uh, Manny Brown, whose divinity is uh, Ma'at, the Egyptian goddess of truth, justice, and harmony. And I, I'm basically your Sailor Moon. 
uh, space cadet uh, in the extreme, but uh, heart full of gold. That that's that's Manny Brown. And we love them for it. Uh, before we get back, before we get into the game proper, just the usual announcement: we are we're a pretty independent entity here. We don't have corporate overlords. We do have a sponsor, Die Hard Dice, but we do not have a corporate overlord. Always taking applications. Jeff Bezos, call me. You have too much money anyway. Give me some of it. But we run pretty much entirely on uh, the support of our viewers. And through that, we thank you all in so much for not only being here, but for subscribing. And if we make you laugh, make you cry, send us a tip. There is stuff in it for you. If you subscribe, you will be immortalized in uh, North, North Point Academy as a student. Where? Who knows? I throw them in at random. They usually end up as members of the occult club because those guys are everywhere. Uh, you can... But there's also story unlocks. Uh, and for every $50 we raise, I will draw from the tarot deck. Uh, and let's not forget, there are four tarot cards in the deck, each representing one of our characters. If I draw them face up, you get a critical that you can burn anytime you want. If I draw them in reverse, they get a crit failure that I get to burn whenever I feel it will be funny. I am a monster, I am aware. Now, last week, we had our first episode of season two where we discovered there is a new flavor of crow running around. These appearing to be white and marble-like. They also seem to be viewable by people who don't have divinity, which is not supposed to happen, so everyone knows what went down at the cafeteria last week. Kwame found himself joining a club that's very cool. Super excited to be here. They're great. Yep. We don't talk about it. <clears throat> we don't talk about it. Yes. Manny was put in charge of the prom uh, royal crowns. Now, Manny also managed to completely overturn the prom system, and now they will have an entire prom court. But they will also be responsible for finding the other uh, nominees for said court, which Thanks. Lennox and Kwame were nominated for. Uh, Dahlia... The list is incomplete. Hmm? The list is incomplete. The list is very incomplete. Dahlia, already disappointed that she wasn't nominated for the initial prom court, but hey, the season is young, had a ghostly experience with an old friend in Orpheus, the uh, rabbit crow possible divinity. It's hard to tell what that guy was, but don't worry about it. Nothing bad will happen. I assure you. Trust me. Stop using Don't that tone me. of voice right now, Stephen. Yeah. yeah. I don't think we should uh, trust this uh, in instance right now. You shouldn't. There's anything that I've been taught by tabletop role playing games is that you should never ever trust the GM when they say never. you should trust me. Never. And then an, an anime based DM? You, no, definitely no. not. No, absolutely not. But yes. So this story begins. Not today, but several days ago, when the president of the Horror Appreciation Society met up with the president of the drama club and decided to do a joint uh, venture in order to raise some funds for their club. Wait, which, 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 which clubs did this, sorry? The Horror Appreciation Society. Oh, no. Yes. And the drama club. At the same time, both of us? Yes, they decided to team up. And they decided to do what uh, Xander, uh, the chubby, nerdy, bespectacled member of the school safety squad and drama club, described as an interactive theater event where we put the audience in a situation where they are part of the play. And it is a play between what normal people would call a haunted house. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. Yes. Yes. Um, so the question is, Dahlia, what role were you given for the haunted house? 
as this thing has gone horribly off the rails and it hasn't even opened yet. You know, Steven, I worked in haunted houses. So I'll, I'll so take Eric. my own experience here. I played the uh, specter girl who would chase people down a hallway to get them from one room to the other. Fantastic. Yes, it is a chilly spring evening as we stand outside the old auditorium, the place where your story initially began, but now is filled with the sound of screaming teenagers. Sitting outside with her uh, face bloodied and wig in front of her face is Maria Chavez, the president of the Horror Appreciation Society, as she uh, accepts tickets and sells them accordingly. Uh, Kwame, Lenny, you both find yourselves outside wondering, how did it come to this? I would like it known that I did not agree to this. Nope. Uh, yeah, like, I get it. Like, a hun hundo, hundo P. Uh, but like, uh, you know, Dolly is in there. And like, I think it's like super, super smart to like uh, support him and like help him help, you know, like if, if you can like, like, I'm not saying pretend to be scared or whatever, but like if you could, uh, I don't know, pretend to be scared. But mm, see, mm, when we found out this thing was going to happen, I said, hey, I can, um, you know, you need a script. You need things, you know, you need words to be said. I can write that down for you. That's what I do. I did not agree to go inside and um, <clears throat> risk my life and my um, my my headspace for um, our friend. Oh yeah, mm. I I get it. Like totally, hundred uh, percent. But like, it's like it's not like like real or whatever. You know, it's not like you know. There's not like it's not real. Um, and like um, like just. I know it sounds hard, but you'd be surprised at how easy it is. You can pretend to be someone you're not for like a long time. Let me ask you a question, the next. Um, <clears throat> do you like clowns? Uh, you know, uh, I wouldn't say I have any real uh, opinion about them either way. Have you ever been forced into a seat in makeup, white, pale makeup, splayed all over your face? In a, um, in a red nose and, and an afro that is not real placed upon you and you are forced to do unspeakable things to children. Not, not, not that far. Just, you know, <laughs> squeaky and, 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 and flower traps and, and things. I don't like haunted houses. I don't like clowns. I might, I might have a phobia. But we, we don't, you, you did not hear that from me. Oh, yeah. Totally. Uh, Cool. Um, Can I get a charisma roll from both of you? I'm looking for a five. That's literally impossible. Um, no, that should be five for me. One. No. One. Oh, my God. <laughs> On a D12. On a D12. And we don't have rerolls yet. So uh, you just got to live with that. Oh, man. I'm going to have fun this episode. Yes. As Kwame, you are going into a very... Personal thing that happened. I'm like not paying attention. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, hey, so yeah, no, we're we're gonna be in there, there. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I got our ticket sorted. So, uh, come on. Both of you are caught completely off guard as a long-limbed Frenchman throws his arms over your shoulders. No. Ah, oh, hey. Ah, uh, Linux. Uh, you. Kwame, what the fuck? Don't, don't. There, there is a saying that certain military people use called don't ask, don't tell. Just don't ask. I'm very familiar. <laughs> I, 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 I would ask more questions, but uh, apparently we're American now. And hey, y'all, let's get a hot dog and not ask people questions about themselves. Yeehaw! How was that? Was that a good American accent? Yeah, that's that's kind of like what we sound like. 
Yeah. I I brought Manny with me. Hey, how you doing? Uh. Um fine. Uh I I I am not <sighs> organizing all of this has been incredibly stressful. Um, not to mention terrifying. I don't like haunted houses. Hey, see, 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 Linux. See, I think that's two versus one. I look at Sparrow. Oh, no, I'm completely in favor of this. Now that I know you have a problem with it, I am more in favor of it. We need a tiebreaker. We have two yes, two no. This is the problem, okay, with haunted houses, is that haunted house houses, you, you can feel me on this, uh, uh, Kwame, haunted mm -hmm. houses are white people nonsense. They... Uh, Why do you like to be scared? What is Why would cool I willingly go to a place where I know that I am going to be terrified? And, you know, because we are dealing with a certain thing, you know, certain crows or that things like that. What if they take this opportunity to make those terrifying things a reality? And I know I'm the reality bender. I, you know, like, I don't think anyone's ever, like, spelled it out for me. But, yeah, I think a lot of, like, the reason why I can only speak for myself, uh, like this sort of stuff, is because it's, um, it's fear in a controlled environment. Uh, where it's not actually like um, you know anything that could could really hurt me in any way uh, because I come from such privilege and don't don't know fear in any meaningful capacity. So you know I still uh, I guess like I guess uh, it's like fear tourism or whatever. I appreciate that you are so self aware. I just want you to know what you just said is something that only someone who is deficient in melanin would ever say. Huh. Yeah. Huh? Yep. He doesn't even know. Okay. Um, he tries his best. As long as I can, you know, if we have to go in to support our friend Dahlia... Which is pretty much the only reason why I haven't put up a fuss about it. Dolly is doing it, and therefore that means we will support her. It's at this moment you hear a very shaky voice going, "That's that's why I'm here too." Behind you, Nanako, looking like she wants to die, is Nanako. Her legs are shaking. Her face is flushed. You've never seen her ponytail tighter. Oh, oh hey. dear, you need to loosen loosen that up just a little a little bit. I tried I think my I think I have lockjaw now. Oh, yeah. We're we're about to head in if you wanna tag along with us. Don't worry, Kwame, I will keep you safe. You know what? I actually believe you. I know you can't tell lies. <laughs> I wanna like pull Kwame aside and just go, listen, uh a tip I learned is um if there's if you're with someone who's like really scared, everyone's gonna focus on them. So like the closer you are to Nanako, on like I'm not suggest like you know, but like <laughs> using using Nanako as like a shield, like they'll go after her and then like they'll kind of leave you alone. That's kind of how how the whole game works. They want like the biggest reactions. You know, any other time I would say you are a complete asshole, but you know I might take you up on that. Yeah. It'll just be between us though. Don't tell nobody. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I am using. Nanako as a and you could like spin it as like you're trying to like protect her or whatever. Exactly. See, yeah, you know, big strong. Yeah. Yep. Slinking his way over, Spiro just has the biggest shit eating grin. You boys, you too. You two are evil. You know this, yes? I am not evil, I am necessary. That's a difference. <laughs> Manny, I cannot Nanako. sacrifice my life. Okay. <laughs> Manny, Nanako has put her trembling hands on your shoulder and with the with a forced grin is saying, this is going to be fun, right? This is going to be fine. Well, I feel as though if we were going into a situation in which we were dealing with professionals and, and not amateurs, I would be able to tell you uh, with a certainty in my soul that it would not be okay. But I, I think I think this situation will be fine, except for Dahlia. Dahlia will be terrified because Dahlia is profesh. So 
Yeah. She'll approach yeah. it with a passion, uh, unlike anyone else in this this haunted house, I'm sure. But even <sighs> even if we are not capable of feeling scared of Dahlia because Dahlia is a precious human being, we must give her uh, we must give her all of our undivided attention and uh, and 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 turn in performances that would make her proud. Mm, I know. I don't think it'll be hard for me to be scared of Dahlia tonight. <laughs> Why did Iris have to go out? At the she went to Paris today. She left a room. She went to the city. She bought something from the grocery store. It's kind like, of I amazing. Can't... Iris has come so far. Oh, I owe this to Iris. Yeah, it just goes to show you, like, uh, embracing what you're afraid of uh, depowers mm -hmm. it a little. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I actually, I actually believe, look, I, I... I will be your shield. Have you ever played Overwatch? I am Reinhardt. I will be your shield. You, you, you shall do this for Iris. You shall do this for Dahlia. And uh, we will be right behind you. Right behind you. I'm a shield that's behind you. That makes no sense, but I promise you, it makes sense to me. He's covering your six. Nobody will be able to come up from behind us and scare you. Oh. Kwame. You're such a good person. Ooh. All of you see the flowers of Nanako just taking over the goddamn screen. Senpai. And <laughs> senpai, indeed. Meanwhile, inside the haunted house, Dahlia, you find yourself between the first and second room. Uh, the first room is a musty, dirty, grungy garage has been taken over by fanatical, angry nature spirits. Uh, people are being turned into plant monsters and Ivy is taking over everything. And there's a car that they have rigged up. So it looks like it might actually fall. It never will, but it looks like it. It's great. And the second one is a library maze filled with grave robbers. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but they had to use what they had in the drama department's costume budget. So, it works, okay? It looks fine. How are you handling being the wailing uh, spirit ghost girl between the two rooms? Oh, man. I am handling it better than I've handled anything in my life. I spent the last two weeks, ever since I caught wind that this would even be a possibility, setting up my character, giving my character a backstory. The teacher said you were just supposed to scream at guests and get them from the garage to the library. But Dahlia is like, no, I was born in the 1800s. I was killed by my husband who was having an affair. And now I haunt this hallway from the garage to the library to try to tempt people from not falling into his trap. <laughs> uh, go ahead and give me a charisma roll. We're looking for a four. Charisma. I appreciate that Dahlia just has no chill. None. <laughs> A nine. A nine. Oh, Dahlia, you are so perfect for this role. You are screaming bloody murder. Teenagers are throwing stuff in the air and bolting. There was one kid who actually ran for the emergency exit. I'm like... If if people hesitate in the room, like those people that are, that walk really slow, she like corners them and gives them a monologue of her life story. So if she can't scare them out of the room, she just irritates them out of the room. Like a proper theater kid. Yeah. You are joined by Xander, who sadly was not given a scare role, uh, but has taken it upon himself to film your entire experience tonight for your reel. I love Xander. Xander knows what's, Zanny, Xander knows what's up. After you scare a lacrosse team member out of the room as he goes bolting, Xander in his black robe and a like little black domino mask because you're not supposed to pay attention to them and he figured, why not? Uh, so you want to check that one out? Uh, get See if you can like get some notes from it. No, no, I'm I'm like really in the space right now and I don't want to mess this up. So I just return to your place. I'm going to return to mine. I think the next group's coming. Okay. All right. All right. 
You're doing good. You're doing great. Break a leg. <gasps> okay, thank you. <sighs> All right. I just want to say that one of the scariest moments I've ever had in a haunted house was not a scary person. <laughs> it was a they had a they had a mummy who was meant to befriend everybody who walked in <laughs> and trick them. Like you'd be so nice to per- they set you up so you don't see the person behind that's gonna scare you and then they run away. Evilest character I've ever met. I was so mad. Sorry, continue. I guess that's I, I I also feel the need to throw in here that I actually fucking love haunted houses. I <laughs> love them. I love them. I have I gone not to Not like Scary Farm films. every year since I moved to Los Angeles. I do not like horror films. I love haunted houses. I, I okay. As long as we're having a little story time, I <laughs> went to the Walking Dead walkthrough attraction at Universal. And I was by myself because no one else wanted to do it. And I'm with this uh, little old lady and I guess her granddaughter. And we get to one point where there's this long hallway and you know something's going to attack. You know something's going to pop out. They grabbed me. They grabbed me and threw me in front of them. Wow. (laughs) Incredible. And scene. Which is great. And scene. Yes. All right. The door of the old uh, gymnasium opens, and Lenny, Kwame, Manny, Nanako, and Spiro, you are hit with the smell of gasoline and rot and nature. It's a horrible combination. And Nanako has turned into Nanako Pot 5000 and very gingerly moves forward inside <laughs> <laughs> hashtag wear a mask <laughs> my mask had commuted tried so time. hard it no. got so far and in the she end tried. it didn't even matter it didn't matter <laughs> nope <laughs> <laughs> Right. And oh, I need man. a charisma roll from all of you as the first scare actor comes falling out of a stationary vehicle, vines wrapped around his neck, eyes bulging. And we're looking for a four. Nine. 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 Three. I love oh. it. I love it so much. <laughs> My charisma is only a D4. Like, I can't do very much with that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Lenny, you are the first one who lets out a yelp as everyone else is kind of like, okay, that's going to happen. And Nanakobot 5000 has shut down all emotions to process this event. Too early, too early. That was... Huh. <laughs> that, that was dope. That Good was job. frightening. Let us continue forward. Yeah, You're yeah, yeah. Great, Nanako. I like push Nanako forward a little bit. Like, yeah, of course. Yeah. Are you doing a fantastic uh, job, Nanako? You are affirmative. Amazing. Oh my god. Spiro rubs his chin. Kwame, I think you broke the girl. I did not break anything. I am a very delicate individual. Okay. As a uh, man pops out of the trash can, screaming bloody murder, Nanako literally turns like she's on tank controls. Uh... No, you definitely broke her. She is broke. I like, hey, um, Manny, do, do me a favor. Uh, I think Nanako might need your, your, your assistance. I, I am not good with um, <clears throat> robots. Uh, and... Nanako, are you are you okay? What, Nanako? I like Scoot sitting next to Lenny. This is not working. Nanako. Uh, yeah. What? Wh- Nanako just stares blankly into the middle distance. What you're supposed to do is like you know like uh let them like lean against you and like put your arm around them and stuff like that. Not like you know push them into danger and then hide. <laughs> but like you know. Uh, but but now they are robot, and I don't I don't think it's going to work. Oh! Oh. I bring Lenny in. 
I'm going to protect Lenny now. You, you, <laughs> you, you will be. Uh, uh, we will, we will protect each other. How about that? Huh? Oh yeah. Totally. Yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm all alone now. Manny, Spiro, uh, basically tackle hugs you, Manny. I need a uh, buddy. Everyone else teamed up, and Nanako turned into a robot. Um. Okay. You are you are holding me very tightly. Oh, I apologize. It's fine. Um. I mean, Dahlia feels her nose start to itch. She's like, something's happening. <laughs> so, Spiro, what? What besides music are things that like you're into? Uh, well, I do plan on joining that poetry society that Kwame is going to open after his marriage to Lenny. <laughs> okay. And Kwame heard nothing. Yeah. Anything else? Music, poetry, so far, very artistic soul you have. Eh. My father's a painter, my mother was a model. It just kind of, it runs in the family, as they say. Ever do any kind of a sport? Oh, yes. Uh, I tried out for the soccer team, but uh, that did not go well. Oh, do you like soccer? Yeah, I'm good at it. I don't know if I like it. Uh, oh, uh, take two steps to your left. Some guy's going to fall out of that in a couple seconds. Oh, nice looking out. Thank you. Yep. Nanako, move over to your left two steps. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, at that I don't moment, think I've ever seen anyone cope with a haunted house this way. <laughs> or not cope, I guess. This is definitely not coping. This is, uh, uh, what's the word? Um, Association? Yes! Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yes, this is definitely a, a moment she will not remember. And uh, let I me get in. Good. Let me get an intelligence roll. Manny, add three to your roll. Okay. We're looking for a four. Do do do. Uh, you said add three, so yes. I rolled a two, so that's five. Okay. What is that sound? What on earth? <laughs> Eric, what was that? Eric? Don't lie. Not me. Not me. Don't lie. Not me. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. All right. We are having fun with sound effects. The audience cannot hear. That. Very, very fun. All right. Uh, Lenny, Kwame, what'd you get? Oh, we're doing it too. Sorry. I, I, yes. What are we? What are we rolling? Intelligence. <laughs> Intelligence. We're looking for uh, a four. Eight. Three. Kwame, this time you are caught off guard as a man comes tumbling out of the ceiling, uh, like half plant, half mechanic, uh, just grody. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, see. This is going to work perfectly. You are not scared. I am a little bit scared. We just pray to go. Oh, shit. No, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Dick. This is uh, fun, right? No. I mean, <clears throat> yes. <laughs> I'm not scared. Yeah, you did good. You could have you could have aimed a little bit uh, better uh, with your landing. Um. But, uh, you know, good job. If, if, fun. <laughs> no, don't break the illusion, man. Yeah. You got to like, you got to like keep, you got to stay in like, like we're being attacked by plant people. I am the king of illusions. <laughs> I get illusions. I don't like. All right. Uh, so DB uh, lets out a small chuckle as he gets back in position as you keep walking. Uh, thank you for the subscription. Uh, Manny, you see something, though, that doesn't look like it fits this makeshift room they've made. Um, you see a bunny. It's, uh, it looks kind of odd, though. It's 
black and green. Why? Why? Hmm? This doesn't make any sense. Uh, Manny would like to get closer to the bunny and inspect it, if possible. Okay. Uh, you approach the bunny. The bunny does not look like it. It's not even a prop. This, if it is a prop, it's a very lifelike prop. Um, you see its chest kind of heave a little bit, and it's obviously doing that thing where it's trying very hard not to move. As if somehow your vision is based on movement. Excuse me, Mr. Bunny? What? You don't recognize an old friend? Says Loki. Manny, like, lunges for the rabbit and, like, pulls it into their arms. Ah! Jeez! Ah! The, the hugging! The hugging is happening! Hi! Yes. Uh, Kwame and Lenny and Spiro all can hear it. Nanako Bot 5000 does not, though. Um... Ah, yes, yes. Uh, hello, Manny. It is good to see you. It's good to see you, too. I'm glad mm. you're okay. Yes, uh, I am great. This is great. Yes, hello. Um, could I? Your friend is around here, right? The, uh, the one with the voice kind of up here? Are you talking about Dahlia? Uh, yes, that one. That one. Yes. Yeah, she's on shift right now. We're in the haunted house so that we can support her. Oh, okay. I thought this was like a bizarre theater thing. Okay, that's I mean, great. That's it great. is also that too, but we like bizarre theater things. They're fun. It's like an interactive play. What is that? Oh, oh. it's Loki. Oh. You yes, look uh... like, like heck a different than the last time. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, it's like you weren't like a... A rabbit before and like we had a friend who was a rabbit um and i think that like like i maybe i'm just like i don't know like i'm confused as to like why you're a rabbit and stuff well why are you a person hmm? Hmm? that whole Don't time manny is just holding loki and like petting uh, his head and like giving him scratches behind his ears no uh, no no please that's... stop doing that he says as his head kind of tells you you see the leg do the little thump 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 well, I, I mean, that's like, a, that's like a good question. Like, what makes a, a person a person and whatnot? And like, do we choose our, 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 our mortal shells? Uh, but, you know, I, you know, I'm a human born to, to human parents. So that kind of like explains it pretty, pretty well. But like, you weren't a bunny and now you are one. So either you're turned into one or you're choosing to be one. And I'm just like curious. Loki can turn into whatever he wants. Yeah, that's why I'm curious why. I'm aware. I can usually turn into anything I want. Yes, but currently I'm a bunny. Uh, he extends a paw to you, Kwame. Uh, hello, Loki, god of mischief. Wait, like the actual, the, the actual god of, like, like, nos, like, mistletoe, and, and you, and evil, not, not evil. Yes, right? gender, flu gender fluid, bringer of the apocalypse, uh, uh -huh. you know, sexier than my brothers, I'm aware, yes. Turned himself okay, into I an ox once. Just, I mean, Anansi Anon has has killed me and on the other tricks us. I just was, I just want to make sure I, I'm still new to this. Hi, Kwame. Ah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes. Uh, so Manny, uh, um, listen, I'm very happy to see you. It's always a pleasure, Manny. You. Like I said, oh. I'm just glad you're okay. I was worried about you. It. If you're like happy to see us, like I'm just again, I'm like sorry if I'm like stepping out of bounds or whatever, but like it seems like you were like trying not to be seen and like pretending like you weren't like even real. And the fact that you've stated that like normally you 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 could be whatever you want, uh kind of implies that you currently in this moment can't be. So I'm like again, I'm like wondering like why you're money or whatever. I've had a week. Tell us about I've it. I'd love to, I can't. But uh, real quick, Manny, Manny, you have been entrusted with something recently, yes? Um, yes. Good, could I have those things? No. Why? Oh, I was going to steal them, but then you saw me, so I thought I'd be polite instead. I need them for reasons. That's not good enough. I'm aware. Um, let's see, uh, Okay. Wow, this place is very dank. Um, this the 
Who likes charades? Spiro slowly raises a hand. I like put Spiro's hand down. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, why are charades required? Because I am. How do I? Oh, I think I, I think I actually get it. Because there's a deep secret with inside you that you, you can't speak, uh, that that you wish to like tell, scream out to the world, but, uh, but know that you don't have the power to say. Spiro leans over very to Manny. Spiro leans over to Manny. Is he get? Um, does he know? Well, I think he's pretty aware. He just doesn't want to say so. Got it. I no, no, it's not like that. It's not exactly like that. It's a little bit more. Uh, mm. Is it because you are a lie smith and therefore cannot tell the truth? What type of liar would I be if I couldn't tell the truth? Well, just hey, I'm asking a question. Don't not get mad at me. I uh, I read in a book once the best liars are uh, say as much of the truth as they can. I am going to scream. Listen, it's very complicated. It involves your new best friend. By best friend, I mean someone who definitely wants you all very dead. Um, uh, your robot seems to be walking away. By the way, you're That's doing well, Nanako. Ah. Uh, Nanako screams in the most monotone voice ever. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so, uh, all right, how do I do this? How do I explain this? How do I explain this? I made someone mad, Sounds and now bad, right? I'm this. Cool. And we have to do the bad things for the good thing to happen. And you one say of those bad. Yes, I'm aware. It sucks when you're the only one who is aware of how things work, but that's okay. Things also, are fine. And I don't, I don't want to like brush past this, but uh, you said uh, new best friend who wants to kill us or whatever, uh, as if we know who that is. Yeah, that 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 pinged me too, Lenny. Um, is it the Easter Bunny? Because you you're a rabbit now. I am not a rabbit. I am just currently a rabbit. Let's Wait. keep moving forward so that we can find Dahlia. She should be part of this conversation. I'm Let's just hold your peace for now. Let's go find Dahlia. I, I don't want to be like that person, but I don't know if like like I want Dahlia to see us walking holding a rabbit or whatever. I know it's As the sounds of screams well. and monsters fill the auditorium PA system. Can they hear this? <laughs> yeah, they I am. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> um, Loki tries... I'm going to need a dexterity check, uh, Aki. Sure. Um, oh my We're god, this haunted six. house just got very intense. <laughs> I love it. Wow. I love that we have a fucking pterodactyl, apparently. I'm here for it. <laughs> Can we down a little bit? Um, yeah, it is a little bit loud. Um, yeah. I can't think. Uh, so I just rolled a one. I think my dice were scared too. So. <laughs> I mean, I'm enjoying this, but I feel like this haunted house is like all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have werewolves. Uh, yeah. Manny, as you are distracted by the sudden the roar theme. of pterodactyls and werewolves, uh, Loki escapes your grasp. Listen, no. okay, I'm not going to steal it. I promise I won't steal the thing, but I need you to know it's going to get worse before it gets better. Okay, lovely to meet you, Kwame. Bye! Loki! Nothing got explained. <laughs> Loki goes hopping away at sonic speeds. Dahlia, it go you see a black and green flash uh, by your feet. Um... As you notice, it's been a hot second since you've had anyone come by until a uh, young woman looking rather robotic walks into the hallway. I'm standing at the other end of the hallway with my arms crossed in front of me in a very regal pose. Uh, my outfit doesn't look very haunted at first. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. With what's going on right now? This is so <laughs> ridiculous. So as as Nanako walks into the room, 
I like square my shoulders. Good evening. There's no response. <laughs> I know that there's probably a group coming, so <laughs> I will pause. <laughs> yes. I, I want you to go in and give me a charisma roll real fast. Okay. Seven. Your good evening was enough to make Nanako Bot 5000 just have a short. And Nanako collapses into a heap. The color is gone. <laughs> the outline is there. They have the Genji Ito shading on them. Jun I'm, I'm feeling real good. Junji Ito, I apologize. <laughs> And a few moments later, uh, you see the other members of the school safety squad. Oh, Nana, 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 Co. Oh no! I, I recognize. <laughs> I recognize Manny's voice, and so I'm immediately like, "It's time to put on the fucking show." <laughs> All right, Nanako, you have to stand up now. You cannot. You, this is this is a fire hazard, and therefore error have, error four oh four cannot function. You must try, okay? Listen, remember, none of this is real. No one and nothing can hurt you, and you are safe with us. Please stand up. You are a fire hazard, and that goes against the entire mandate of being a member of the safety squad. Stand up. <laughs> All right. I need a smart roll, not a smart roll, an intelligence roll from Lenny uh, Kwame. And I'm also going to have Nanako make one. Manny, you're fine. But Dahlia, I need a charisma roll with a plus three. Okay, cool. Hey, 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 here we go. Oh, that's a not 12 plus three, so 15. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so sad for all of you. Nanako sits up. You're right. You're right. You're right. This is silly. This is silly. It's all fake. It's all fake. Poor uh, are those with eyes who cannot see. The my husband claps. My husband had eyes, but could not see the value of those in front of him. And so I took his eyes because he could not see that value. The scream and of a man. And now I will take yours too. Huh. And then she starts to advance on the whole group. Oh God! <laughs> nope, nope, nope. I'm good. Dahlia, you're doing great. Yeah. Nope, nope. Oh, Nana, go. Yeah. No. Nope. Uh, <laughs> nope. <sighs> All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Spiro lets out the biggest laugh. Spiro, will you please take care of the boys before they, like, come fine, on. Fine, fine. You get Nanako standing again. I, I think she might have had a heart attack. Ah, Kwame! Dolly. Kwame! Ah. <laughs> Nanny also putting on a show for Dahlia's benefit. <laughs> Manny, give me a charisma roll. Let's see how well you oh, sell it. God. This is probably not going to go well for me. We're looking for a four. <laughs> of course, I rolled a one. Manny, perhaps it was the fact you just had a run-in with Loki, who seems to have something to tell you, but he won't. And you have a passed out. Uh, you got a lot going on, okay? You got a lot going on around you right now. I'm crying, but I think at some point, Manny just kind of turns to Dahlia and goes, <laughs> just like, makes a, a look of distress that's not a look that, like, Dahlia is distressing them, but more like this whole situation is just like, oh, <laughs> They just completely break. It's just like the illusion is just shattered for a moment. Whenever Dahlia's back is towards the cameraman that she's hired, she's going to do this like, are we, are we doing good? Is this is good. Okay, awesome. Now leave before I take those eyes. Oh, no, I want to keep my eyes. Oh, geez. <laughs> See, they're, uh, very, they're very nice eyes, Lenny. Kuwame didn't realize Dahlia's role. 
So he didn't think it was Dahlia for a second, and the makeup's really good. Like, damn, you did that, girl. Uh, but yeah, he is like ready to book it. All right, next room. We did it great. Uh huh. When are we getting to Dahlia? Let's go. Uh -huh. That that was Dahlia. No, it wasn't. That's not. That was Dahlia. Oh, isn't she hey, good? You are. <laughs> Yeah, to, to, amazing. You know, I can give you a little no, no you don't give actors notes. No. Um you 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh Spiro begins pushing on your back, Kwame. Come on, come on, let's go, let's keep going. Wait, wait, we, we can talk to, to her after we're yeah. done. She has oh. to keep working. I mean, do you have to? Oh. yeah, yeah, we'll talk, yeah, huh? Mm -hmm. Have fun with this. As soon as you're off shift, meet us over by the food booths. Okay, I will. Yeah. Uh, Spiro has one hand on Kwame's lower back. He's got one hand on Lenny's wrist, and he's dragging both the boys at this point. I'm having now, such a great time. <laughs> now I will be checking the tape. <laughs> yes. Uh, Manny, there is a blinking outline where Nautico was and just a <laughs> dust cloud. Oh, she she woke up. That's good. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Yeah. I... I Something's got to be done about that girl. First, first Lenny, and now this. Hey. Yes, Manny, you hang out long enough, and Dolly gets distracted by the tape, and you notice uh, Xander is there, who gives you a little hey. As uh, Dr Draconiques and noisily weeping Taco, two other uh, people who weren't given parts, but were given uh, very important jobs uh, gather around the small camera to see the footage they captured. Uh, Dahlia, you see your beautiful monologue and the sound is just right. And you see Nanako fucking faint and Kwame book it and Lenny books it and Spiro's laughing. Like, it's a really good shot. <sighs> This is a good one. We, we've got to, like, really export this and put some spin on it. Oh, this is totally going on, on the club's YouTube page. Oh, yeah. And to every college that I'm going to apply for. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Uh, Dahlia, there is one thing you notice, though, as you look through the viewfinder. At the end of the hall, there's a door that's not there. Can I look to see if it's there now you do um you look up the end of the hall is uh the uh hanging sheets to the club put up to separate all the rooms there is nothing there but when you look through the viewfinder you see a large wooden door uh cracked open a little bit like someone tried to close it but didn't completely finish the job um it's large imposing a uh, stone facade around it and the carvings on it. That's the door of oblivion. The one that Loki helped me unlock? The one that Loki and Orpheus helped you unlock and open. Oh, and it's slightly open in the video. Yep. And Ooh. it's only visible through this camera, it looks like. Um, hey, do you mind if I, do you mind if I just, I want to set up the shot myself really quick. Sandra shrugs and hands you the camera. I trust you, but the... Do you, um... Hmm. That'll be a couple minutes before the next group comes by, right? Yeah, we got a little time. Do you mind going to grab my friends? Oh, um... Yeah, it won't be hard to find them. Sure. Perfect. Um, yeah, just bring them back as fast as you can. I'm sure they're, they're running right now, because my performance was one for this entry. I gotta say. Yep. Okay, um, I need charisma rolls from Manny, Lenny, and Kwame. As you have entered the final room, you survived the library maze full of grave robbers. You survived the storming barn filled with Frankenstein monsters. I know they're not, I, I know Frankenstein was the doctor, I'm just saying, but they are. Um, and you are in the final room, which is this very lovely uh, like uh, dining room 
like owned by a loving family and they have photos on the wall that they took and it is covered in blood and there are these mutant billionaire uh, black cat men on top of them eating the people. It's commentary and it is not subtle. I'm going to need a four at least. I rolled I got, a four. I rolled a four. Eleven. <gasps> yeah. Maybe it's because they're people with cat ears trying to be scary or maybe you're just getting desensitized, Kwame, but this this room's not that scary. We don't have, we don't have clowns. We're good. See, not the worst haunted house experience uh, ever. Uh, There's some fun original ideas happening in here. You know, it, it it did the job pretty well. You know, I um. <clears throat> I saw you shaking your boots there a couple of times. I'm not wearing boots. I'm wearing slippers, but like the good, fashionable kind. You know. <laughs> of course. Uh -huh. Did you have a good time, though, Kwame? If I said no, you would probably judge me. So I will say no, yes I wouldn't. and smile. If you didn't have a good time, you didn't have a good time. There's no reason to lie about it. I enjoyed the entertainment factor of it, yes. It, it did the job well, if you will. <clears throat> Just need a, a, a nap and a... A latte after this. Huh? No, I think it was like super well produced, especially on their like time frame and budget. And like, I'm not, I'm not saying this, you know, just to say it, but I think like honestly, after Dahlia, everything kind of took like took a step down. Oh, it took a Spiro has his hands behind his head and just goes, "Yeah, it took a hard, hard dive after Dahlia." By the way, Lenny, I wanted to say I'm really impressed with you. Oh, okay. When 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 we found Loki and and he was you know kind of giving us his usual uh, uh, run around, you asked some very good and very intelligent questions. Well, I I mostly only had like one question that like uh, it was clear he was trying not to answer. Yeah, we'll have to figure that out. But that being said, you 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 didn't let up on on uh, letting him get away with saying whatever he wanted and. I, I yep. just wanted to tell you that both myself and Maat appreciate that. Oh yeah, no problem. Yeah, I don't like, like I don't know him that them, it. Them. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes it's all kinds of things. Uh, I don't know them that well, so uh, like, I don't want to like judge a, a person by like a like the book or whatever. Uh, but like, they're like a liar, so like, like I guess I judge them harshly. And also, like, I don't know them. So, like, they were kind of, like, familiar. And, like, I didn't enjoy that. <laughs> you don't, by familiar, what exactly do you mean, Lenny? Uh, they were talking at us like like I'd ever had a conversation with them, which uh, I technically haven't. Oh, you mean that type of familiar. Okay. Yeah. Dressed as, like, like looking like a, a person that I, I used to know. So, like... I don't know. I just was like, but you did. I wasn't cool with that. Off. Yeah. But this is the thing. I don't think he can help that right now they're a rabbit. I mean, it probably makes her really uncomfortable. I understand. They can't control their shape. I, and that's what I was getting at because I was worried that they were like, as someone who is known for being being a goofster, that they were like trying to hurt a, a friend of mine, and I wasn't gonna have none of that. No. It was probably good of you to run interference on bringing them into the same space as Dahlia. I, I think you're right. I, I don't think that Dahlia would have responded very well to that. But, uh, again, sorry, newbie here. Um, so they, they, they did stuff in the past that wasn't good, which I, it makes sense. Um, but why were, why were they not telling us exactly what is going on if they were trying to help so our history with loki is a little bit complicated they have done things that kind of ride the line between helpful and not helpful i don't think that they're all out, all out and out evil i think they 
they have uh they are they definitely have an agenda oh, that for sure. may not always align with our agenda <laughs> no for sure not i mean but, i I, I understand that. Again, as I look at the prover point to the proverbial spider on my shoulder, Anansi might be the king of stories, but he is a trickster god as well. So I understand that. I understand the idea of playing on the line, not knowing what side to be on or choosing which side to be on. I get that. It's I true. Just... I'm chaotic neutral. Uh, true neutral. Chaotic. Yeah, no, okay. Um, but. They obviously wanted to do something and they just didn't. That doesn't feel like they are towing the line. That feels like they are intentionally being a nuisance for no reason. I, a, mm, I, mm. I got, I mean, I got the impression that like whatever's going on with Loki is like some stuff that they are like, like physically or like magically unable to conquer at the moment. And that, that that's why. And it probably has something to do with like the, the person that apparently wants us dead, who uh, I was not aware of. Um, cause, cause I like trying to get along with people. So. Yeah. Loki is usually a lot more straightforward with me. Maybe they were feeling nervous about the fact that they were being interrogated. Not that that wasn't a completely valid way to approach the situation since Loki is, is shifty and won't always speak openly with people. I'm just worried about them. I, uh, I, I'm concerned that they are not capable of defending themselves in their current form. And I don't want them to get hurt because I know, I know that Loki in general gets a bad rap from a lot of people, but I, I really like, I like him. I, I think, I think, I think they're really cool, and I don't know. I. Mm. Spiro okay, but... lets out a small chuckle. You know, Manny, you always find the best in people. Thanks. Even, even things that aren't technically people. Thanks. <laughs> okay, but actual question. I mean, we've seen a lot. I mean, from. Anansi and Ningazi and, and Maat and Persephone, those are pretty typical. Loki still, yes. Morrigan, yes. Uh, is the Easter Bunny actually something and can they be a divinity to someone? Because why was he a bunny? Um, um, at no. that, Spiro grabs you, Kwame, and gives you a proper dip. Kwame, I promise I will protect you from the horrible rabbits. You know, I. I hadn't thought about that, but like, you know, there are a lot of keys. Um, although the Easter Bunny is not technically a deity so much as like uh, the divine representation uh, and also a bastardization. Oster, right? Yeah. It's so like, I don't, I don't know. I mean, there's definitely like gods that are bunnies, I'm sure. Uh, and maybe some of them are also technically the Easter Bunny. I don't know. Spiro sets you back right, Kwame. And oh. I need all of you to give me an intelligence roll. We're looking for a five. Hey, that's a challenge for me. Here we go. Nine. Four. Ooh, one. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, and one. from the shadows comes an unsuspecting figure, tiny and holding a camera, making everyone except Kwame kind of give it a little jump. As it's just Xander. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, Xander. Xander, why are you sneaking around in the dark like that? I'm not sneaking. I just... You were all talking about Easter bunnies, apparently. I guess, are you scared of the Easter bunny? I walk close to Xander, and I kind of have that menacing... You, you are never... much taller than him. You will never repeat those words again. Now shoot the messenger. Dolly asked me to get you guys. Oh, okay. Cool. She must be okay. done now. Is, it, uh, uh, she, is she on break? Is it going on more? Is it going to be teared down? Is the haunted house over? No. 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 We got like four more hours. Ah. Okay. Oh, sick. I, I kind of want to do it again. In reverse. In reverse. Uh, um, 
Yeah, Dahlia, you have been let on break, and Xander has lent you his camera. And it's uh, fascinating. No matter where you it, have you played with AR with one of those AR games on your phone? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know where it's locked it down wherever it was, and even if it doesn't technically make sense, you still see it. Cool. You're having that experience with the camera and the door of oblivion in the middle of the old gymnasium. Well, this is odd. I'm gonna pull out my phone and check its camera. It does the same. Huh. These are, I'm I just had a monologue about taking someone's eyes and now sight. It is, it's like a different thing with sight. I wonder if the gods heard my monologue and they're trying to give me a sign. <sighs> I hope you found my friends. Um, Xander comes back through the side entrances around the uh, normal parts of the maze, I guess we'll call it. Uh, Kwame, you do not have to go through any of it again. But okay. you are back in the middle of it. <laughs> so they're back. They're yes. they're in the room. Yeah. Um. Hey, Xander, do you mind going to get some orange slices? My throat really hurts from how much I've been yelling. <coughs> Xander. Oh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Sure. I'll go get them. Thank Don't you. Don't mind me. I'm just. Too sure to be scary, apparently. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Xander toddles off, leaving the uh, six of you alone. I found something. And you found the exit to the haunted house, so we don't have to come back. Yes, no. got it. Well, I know where that is, too. But I found... Is it the large sign that says exit? <laughs> yes. Yes, you're very smart. You're so smart. Your brain's very big. Um, I found... Wait, it's a bureau camp. Um, I found the door to Oblivion. That, is oh. that a video game? The big one. The one that Loki and Orpheus and I unlocked. Oh, there's a piece. Um, I found it. Oh. oh. Just look. I'm going to hold up the camera viewfinder and point it at where the door was. And you can all see it. Uh, there is a door that does not exist. It's been uh, in the gymnasium the whole time. This is my first time ever seeing a door. This is, uh, yeah, this would be Kwame's first experience with the door to oblivion. Um, it is imposing. It is large. It looks like it belongs to a medieval castle or something. Uh, the door itself is beautifully carved. And you get the feeling you don't want to see the other side. At least I need to believe two things. That the door was always here and it was a coincidence that I just so happened to be in this room. Or I was supposed to get a bigger part in the haunted house, but they gave me, they influenced me into this small part in this small hallway so that I would find the door. Um, I'm fairly certain that it's probably the first one. You do realize that your part is probably the most important one in the whole, in the whole, I'm just saying. I know, I just wanted to be on wires, like some of the kids that are in the end of the maze. But I mean, being one of the Frankenstein things does have you on what, on like a bungee cord, it's pretty neat. I mean, I, I like get that, but like, also like, you don't need all that stuff. Like, like you just have like the raw talent to like be there. Whereas like all those other people need like, like, you know, to like drop from a ceiling or whatever. Uh, like the beachy has to like drop down to like scare me. I might uh, actually need those orange slices. I'm feeling faint. It's so, 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 so I'm sorry. I asked too many questions when I am confused. The door to oblivion is where the bad things come out of, and we do not want to go to this door because if we go to the other side, we die or something. Or... Uh, we don't know what happens if you like go on the other side. We just know um, when any one of us looks through it, uh, we see an unending uh, void, but also eyes peering at us uh, 
indifferent to our suffering. Yeah. Ah, a Republican. Mm -hmm. Spiro says, trying to be cute and well, failing. I'm also thinking the door is slightly ajar. If we can find some way to interact with it, we could just close it. Oh, yeah. Oh, we need to shut you. it. Get rid of all did of you, our problems. Did you take a picture of it? Did you, what, where did it? We should go to the door now, then, yes? It sounds like it's I a problem. Ma'at can probably help us there. There I'm is a, another issue. Um, and I'm going to like pull back the sleeve to reveal a watch. I'm like, there's like a really long line outside and they're going to keep sending people through. So if we like start doing stuff with the door and, and some bad stuff happens, we're going to get a lot of like innocent people that don't have divinities involved. Do you want me to help with that? Oh, I forgot that you could do things like that, Kwame. Shoot. I mean, is this something? I feel like I feel like that we should. This this cannot just be left alone. If it's there, we have to close it. I mean, right? it's, yeah, it's it's kind of like like our calling or whatever. Yeah, correct. We have a responsibility to keep the people in this school safe, and part of that responsibility is taking care of weird supernatural stuff just like this. Yes. Then let's give them something else to focus on while we focus on this. Perfect. Hey, Anansi, where are you at? Anansi lowers himself from the ceiling all dramatic like. Yes? You are a, a king of spinning stories, um, and I uh, believe this is your time to shine. Why? Why? Why aren't we a part of the drama club? I don't act, but if we need to write, we could. Original musicals well, are a thing. Well, it takes a lot of practice and a lot of training, Kwame. Oh, I'm sure, which is why I don't do it. But I could write the material that you perform. That's very true. We will think about this later. Yeah. yeah. But for now, and I look at... um at Anansi and like sigh. Let me spin you a story in which the entrance of this haunted house was truly haunted after all. And I want the beginning I mean, with my inc incantation, with my words, I am seeking to spin a story in which there is a problem at the entrance, whether one of the ghosts actually is a ghost or like the suit of armor starts to move or something that's in the front. So, so people either focus on that and get scared or they don't come in while the folks wonder if something went wrong. I love that. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and burn an AP point. Yeah. And this is going to be power charisma. Okay. You could, I, I forgot you could do whistle tone. Keys ready. Nope. Okay. Uh, that is nine plus three. Twelve. Okay. With a twelve, uh, we were looking for a ten, so twelve is great. Um, you feel the earth beneath you shake as you hear a loud crashing noise coming from the garage set. Uh, the car they had up on the little, oh, it's going to fall. It's going to fall. Actually falls. All right, they're going to focus on that for a bit. We need to uh, act now or forever hold our peace. Great. Um, I don't exactly know how we do anything. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, what fell? Sorry, I, I heard it, but then I didn't. My mind just... There was a car they had up in the garage area that looked like it was going to okay. fall on people. Uh, it, <gasps> something it snapped. Park ride where final like destination! <laughs> it was almost a final... Thankfully, I'm very, uh, I don't like to kill characters that often. So, uh, except when it's really sad. So uh, the car did fall and no one got hurt, but that's going to be a big problem. Um, Manny starts to walk right back towards where Dahlia pointed out that the door was. Um, and as they do, um, the wings of Ma'at start to kind of, like form, like manifest from their back, essentially, as Manny wants to channel the uh, um, 
their 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 move essentially, uh, which is the revelation of truth. Anyone anything anyone within immediate range is compelled to reveal its secrets and or true intent. So I I would like to activate my move to basically reveal the door in some way. Okay. Or at least yeah. that in a way that we can see and interact with. All right. Um, go ahead and roll me intelligence power and spend the AP point. Cleo. Intelligence and power. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Mana, mana. Do, 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 do. I just finished my watch through of that. And, uh, Menomina happens in the first season. I had to watch like three times because I was like, it's so good. Uh, that's a six. Ah. Uh, so as you attempt to bring this thing into like a tangible form, you all watch as it, uh, the golden energy of Ma'at sort of brings the outline out and then... Uh, three students come running through uh, your hallway, Dahlia. Uh, Hours Without Sleep, Addison R543, and Itsumi Bondo. They all come running by, terrified, because a car crashed in the gymnasium. People are kind of freaked. And Manny, you manage to get the... You get it to a point where you might be able to interact with it, but you're just not positive. Us, uh, as they run past the room. Uh, something, something. I took my husband's eyes. I'm going to take yours. Go, go leave. <laughs> yes, they turn the lights on in the gymnasium. Suddenly, the entire set just doesn't look as fun. And you hear the scare actors all mumbling, grumbling, and talking. And kids are checking out. But you... Do you have this little hallway to yourselves and there is the door? I think we should be able to do something with this, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, I, I'm sorry. I, I did my best. It, I got a little bit distracted. There's a lot going on. I mean, should I just, you just, we just want to like close it or whatever? I'm just going to walk in, and um, if I can see it, I'm just going to try and push it close. And as soon as you touch it, I need everyone to roll initiative as a large stone hand comes out and stops you. Yay, speed plus dexterity, folks. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Uh, 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 um, uh, uh, Steven already uh, said he doesn't like killing off characters, so we have plot armor, so we're fine. Yeah, Why yeah, yeah. are my rolls so garbage today? I got ah. I mean, speed plus with dexterity. dexterity. Thank you. Mm -hmm. See, Eleven I'm for Manny. Remembering how. Eleven. No. Eleven, Eleven for Dahlia. Dahlia. Yeah. Eleven for me. Do we all run on eleven? Thirteen. I rolled a six. I that could be an eleven. We have yet to unlock our rerolls from the chat. If they want to help you guys out, I'm all. You got two rerolls. Yeah, you got some. <laughs> I no, I don't. Not, he, oh, Steven does no. not get those rerolls. Mm -mm. Ten for uh, our bad guy, and six for our Manny. Okay, Kwame, you're going to start us off. Lar a large stone hand, uh, roughly the size of Lenny's head, comes out and stops him before he can close the door. It has the same marbled texture you saw from the dog creature uh, about a week and a half ago. About that attacked the gymnasium. What is... Okay. Uh... It pushes the door open further, and you see the... It doesn't have... A face. It is a body without a face. Uh, it is smooth and featureless and wears a uh, strange hat that meets at a point. Um, and as it crawls out, it stands at about 10 feet tall. And you hear the screams of, What the fuck is that? Ah. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, sh uh, Um. You. Do, do, do uh, um shit um 
This is we not have good. A story. This is not good. This is not good. Um, uh, let me spin you a story in which everything you see is not real. And I want to just mask off the area that we're in so they don't see the fight. They don't see us. They ha- they see the normal shit they would see as they go through. Um, I'm trying to make sure it's just contained so so we don't have to deal with too many people, too many eyes right, on this. Cool. That is going to be range and intelligence, I think. And I spend AB point, correct? Absolutely. Yeah, range and intelligence. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Mm, hot potato, hot potato. Um, that is 11. Okay. Uh, you have put up a successful force field around this small hallway. Your fight's going to be tight, but you're not going to be seen by normal people. In fact, you he- already hear the argument of, what are you talking about? I didn't see anything. Dude, a car crashed! Uh, <sighs> I say, I'm like, I don't know how long this will last, so let's get this done. Dahlia, you're up next. What? Exactly is this thing? Well, as it stands... It's 10 um, feet tall. Yes, it is a 10 foot tall marble man. He looks kind of like a preacher almost. They have a cane and a strange hat. Mm. Um, I'd like to blind it. Well, it has no eyes, but you can give it a shot. I'll, uh, I'm not going to stop you. If it doesn't have eyes, I wouldn't do it. All right. But Dolly was going to stick with the theme this episode. Eyes. <laughs> the eyes have it. She's, uh, I think she's going to ready her action by calling on that big thorned rose sword that she did in the first or the second season. And she's just going to wait. She has no idea what to do. All right, you call upon the rose sword, um, and you wait for it to get into striking distance. Uh, Lenny, it is your turn. All right. So, is this thing has this thing fully come out from the doors? It absolutely can... has. Uh, you cannot see the void behind it, but you do feel like you're being watched. Okay. Uh, I am going to. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna fire a little jet of liquid. Uh, very precise, thin, but powerful jet to just cut away at the stone. You're going to pressure watch it. No, I, I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to pressure Erosion. Cut. No, they have the, they, that's how they cut a lot of like uh, stone these days. They, they oh, have these, wow. yeah, these yeah, water yeah, jets. Like a, a water jet, yeah. And it, and like, really? cuts, and it's computer controlled. It cuts patterns and stuff like that and metal and all kinds of things. That's neat. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and give me the roll. All right. This is going to be. Uh, in, this sounds like a pretty normal magician yep. attack. So yep. that it is. Yeah. So I roll these ones. Intelligence plus range minus two. Uh, so that'll be a fourteen. That's a hit. Go ahead. Roll the same plus two. Uh, that would be a thirteen to hit or thirteen damage. All right, let me roll its defense real fast. Oh, mm. uh, it has good defense. So, uh, Lenny, you shoot this stream of water and you see it crunch through it. It goes past Kwame's barrier and hits the ceiling, but no one seems to notice because, as I said, a car crashed. Can I, in, in, as it's in there, he goes, he, he, like, it steps out and he sees, like, its leg and he goes, special water beam, go! Psst! In my cuts. I love it. Any any excuse to use that thing, huh? I mean, I got it. What do I? What am I gonna do? Not use it? No, it's totally fair. All right. As it comes out, it is going to uh, take a swing at Lenny. As you are the closest thing to it, uh, it pulls up swings, and that is a fourteen. That is going to hit. So I'm gonna roll its damage real fast, or just throw a dice. Why not? Yeah, that makes sense. I yeah, threw sure. it on the ground. Okay, it got a nine. Go ahead and roll me your defense. Yeah. Okay, well, not that die, apparently. <laughs> it's spreading. 
Uh, two. Okay, so you are going to take seven. Yeah. Seven Fair. points of damage as it just hits you right in the sternum. Boom! <laughs> Back you go. Yep. Uh, Manny, it's your turn. Okay, Manny is going to manifest their sword as well. And uh, if they can get within range to strike it, they are going to. You absolutely can. And Dahlia, since we're at the end of initiative, would you like to go as well? Yeah, I want to I wanna help Manny with this. Yeah, let's and mirror do coordinated their move. Strike. Yeah, coordinated sword strikes. Let's do it. Uh, sword of love and sword of truth. I love it. Go for it. All right. What do I roll again for mine as a guardian? Um, as a guardian, you roll your, uh, let me double check. I have the book right here. Strength You'll be rolling your strength plus defense plus two. Strength and defense plus two, right. Mm -hmm. Two D8s plus two. Yes. Uh, and I'm going to ask Dahlia to make the same roll. Even though you are a magician, you are effectively doing an attack am, with yeah. a guardian. So. Um, what was the... Strength and... Defense, plus two. Okay. All right, so that is... I got a 13. 13. I got a 13. 13? And mm -hmm. Dahlia, what'd you get? A six. All right. Dahlia, you attempt to swing at it, but it just goes a little too wide. You miss. Uh, Manny, you're... Manny, you are a shockingly great swords person. So go ahead and roll that damage. Oh man, damage rolls crappy. Ah, oh, just two damage. It rolled a seven on its defense. So your the sword of truth comes up and it just blocks it with an arm. Mad. I am an anger. I don't blame you. All right. Ah, and they are back. Um, Kwame, you are up. What? You're up, dude. <laughs> Not a villain. Um, Good what timing, did, uh, though. Right. right what, did Manny, what did Manny do? Sorry. Manny and Dahlia took their turn together, and they attempted to uh, double cross, double X slash this thing. Dahlia missed. Manny hit it, but it's pretty tough, so it did not go through. Okay. Um, oh, gotcha. Hmm. Okay, um, Anansi, I need you to uh, uh, release some of your web, but like Gorilla Glue style, please. Thank you. Spider spins the web in which... No, that's not... Wow. Um, let me spin your story in which your hands were tied up quite literally, and I want to try to bind the, the stone hands together so okay. they can't uh, do at least as much damage. All right, I like that. Uh, go ahead and give me intelligence plus range. Intelligence plus rage. Intelligence plus rage. Okay. Uh, that is a 12 and math. A 20. 20. No, 19. 19. Okay, we're going to round that up. He now, uh, the monster, which I'm calling the Rook, has a uh, penalty 10. Gorilla glued. Yes. I don't know how much I can do at uh, uh, my my power is is broad, but not as good as you are. Don't undersell yourself. Yeah, and we all just take a moment to stop. But like, hey, hey, I want you to know you're like a very valued member of this team. Like, okay, that's cute, but get that thing. Stop <laughs> talking to me. <laughs> No, yeah, Manny doesn't break. It doesn't even break step when they say this. They are all, like, you know, <laughs> no, not the value. Manny has got it. I mean, Lenny has got his, his his finger gun. You know, you know, Kwame. Like, you're really good. <laughs> I just realized uh, Spiro was also in the scene, so I just rolled Hello, yes. Spiro. Spiro rolled a five. They did not do great. Isn't isn't Spiro's divinity Hades? Yeah. Yep. Literal god of death and. Okay. Oh, the underworld. Yeah. Okay. Do something, Spiro. Oh well, they will when it's their turn. But right now, it's Dahlia's turn. Well, actually, it's Dahlia and Lenny's turn. I forgot you guys rolled the same initiative, so you'll act at the same time. <gasps> Dahlia did choose, however, to hold action last turn. So I did. Who did? 
I'll let Lenny so, go. Okay. Uh, Lenny, having been like slammed back against the wall, is uh, just gonna like roll forward, like uh, and like try and like do some some cool like acrobatics roll, and then like hit with just another like really like go in for the punch, but end with like just a jet of water. So we'll see how well that works out. I love it. Go ahead and spend the AP point and give me. Uh, yeah, this is a magician attack, so. Intelligence plus range, minus two. Um, yeah. So Lenny rolls and goes, ha! And then it, it's, uh, again, it's just it's just foam, because I rolled uh, a, a six. As it just goes, <laughs> um, Yeah, you really need... <laughs> you really need to get that new... Uh, what do you call... What, do, what, are the, the, what are those canisters filled with? That's... CO2. CO2. Yeah. You'll never it's a you'll never stop us. Oh, blop. oh no. Blop, blop. Uh Dahlia. Yes. I am going to recall what geology class taught me. And I'm going to whip my sword out and have uh, Persephone change it to a giant hammer that has a head that's just a lemon cut in half. <laughs> I love it. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to hit the marble as I'm like, your one weakness, lemon juice. <laughs> also, can I just say, I'm always a sucker for a uh, tiny person, big mallet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like always gigantic. a sucker for that. Yes. So go ahead and give me that magician role I crave so badly. Intelligence plus range, minus two. Uh, nine? Not gonna hit. We have re-rolls. Uh, we do not have re-rolls. <sighs> not yet. So close. But so as, I, as I hit this against the marble guy, I'm gonna say, everyone, close your eyes. This might sting. It makes a delightful squirch noise, but doesn't seem to actually hurt them too badly. Uh, it is now his turn, and he's gonna go after... Uh, Dahlia, I apologize. Uh, oh! Uh-uh. You are that. extremely lucky. <laughs> okay, say that. So, they rolled a five. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. <laughs> which means, uh, they're... The Gorilla Glued you gave them, that's gonna hurt. And I drop one of their dice from a D8 to a D6. Yeah. And it also misses, so uh it tries to hit you, Dahlia, with the butt of its staff, but it's just a little tight up right now, so it's more like bonking the linoleum next to you. Ha! Manny and now it's Manny's turn. Alright, I'm gonna try with this sword one more time and see if I can't, you know, knock its block off a little bit. Take it down a few hairs. Maybe knock the top hat off. That is going to be a 12. That's a hit. For, oh, for uh, 10 damage. Oh, it... Sorry, 10 minus 2. 8 damage. Okay. Um, let's see. 8 damage. It got a 5, so... Manny, you are slicing the hell out of this thing, and now it smells rather pleasant. You got that nice lemony smell going on. And next up is Spiro. Spiro uh, pulls out what looks like a crossbow made of black wood, and the arrow on it is that of a ruby. Ready, aim, and pow. he fires it off. Let's see what he gets. It goes wide. Someone is going to find a very pretty arrow later, but it just goes a little wide. <laughs> Son of a bitch. And we are back to the top of the order with Kwame. Hey, you're pretty. That might be good enough for now. Um, 
Uh, as I extend my hand and allow Anansi to crawl onto my arm, and then almost Spider Man S just kind of whip. I'm trying to hit him with like a spider web bolt. Um, um, I'm like, hey, hey, help, help, do, do the thing. Do the thing. Do the I do many uh, things. Let me spin you a story in which I was Peter Parker for a minute. Happy? You should have picked Miles. Go ahead and give me intelligence plus range minus two. Uh oh, spend the AP point. Yep. Uh, that is an eight, seven, 17. 17 is going to hit. Go ahead and roll that damage. And Tell that is range plus two. Okay, yeah, yeah. Look here. Uh, ooh, ooh, 20. So, Kwame, mm-hmm. describe how you kill it. <sighs> no, this is two for two now. I think I need like a, a, a bad saying, you know, marble killing machine, uh, MKM. Uh, no, uh, I think I like aim right at its face and I'm like, mm, uh, you know, uh, violence isn't really my forte. Um, and I like swip the web at its face. But as it hits, um, I think it just hits it so hard that this head hits the back of the wall. And that's really what causes it to be disoriented and fall to the ground. Not really my power, more so it hitting itself. With that, it stumbles backwards, crashes into the wall. The lights overhead flicker on and off. And it tumbles in front of all of you. Um, It looks like it's going to crash into you. But as it falls, it just disintegrates. And you are surrounded by, uh, well, white rock dust. Um, Don't snort it. Kwame, you can lower your barrier as everyone looks around like, is there an earthquake happening? Why did the car fall? And what just happened? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. See, I told you. You're like hella part of this team. Sorry. Heck a part of this team. Okay, but did we do it? Like, is anything else going to come out of this this door or? Uh, We need to try and close it. I think we just have to pull the doorknob, right? (gasps) Wait, the last time it was locked, it was locked with two different keys. Uh, mm, I don't think we have those keys anymore, do we? Oh, we but saw we, Loki. But we do what? have other keys. Like, like I pull out like my my set of keys, like we, a car key or like. No, the the keys that put the divinity inside of you. Well, and oh. also, but like, it wasn't just like divinity keys because like yeah. that was the thing that she needed she needed a key that wasn't from them she needed one of our like a person key and the the second key was uh the humanity key um i don't know if the, the door is playing by the same rules anymore maat i don't suppose you can shed any light on this for us could you yeah nancy like i feel like there's a story about this somewhere mm. Okay, I'll let both of you uh, do a combined uh, divinity roll here. Go ahead and spend the AP for this. Uh Uh-huh. And I'll have both of you give me uh, power intelligence. Cool. Uh, But since it's both of you and we will be combining the powers, I am going to look for a 20. Oh, fuck! Sorry. All the floor dice today. Yeah, that was we're having a lot of floor dice today. Seriously, um, the fuck. Okay. Fifteen uh, on me. Well, I mean, we we passed it because I got a six over here. Oh, All right, that does like, pass. That's significantly less than I was hoping to roll, especially since I rolled a one on a d twelve. That's just oh, that's worse. <sighs> yeah, yeah, hate to see it. So, the four of you no longer stand inside the old gymnasium. You now stand in, well, most of you recognize it as the North Point Cemetery. (laughs) You okay there? I'm fine. I'm fine. (laughs) You stand in the North Point Cemetery, 
And in front of you is the door to Oblivion. Around you is the keys of divinity, the endless supply that you have been working under the assumption that the Phantom Queen had stolen. Behind you is the break in reality you created last time you were in here. When you saved Mandy Murphy from being sacrificed, when you accidentally got the entire occult research society looped into this event, and when you opened the doors to oblivion because of Orpheus and Loki. And Dahlia, you see Orpheus as he turns into what he must have always been, a crow, and goes away. And you see Loki as Loki begins to vanish as well. And you see the wall of reality that you destroyed rebuild itself. Many keys are missing now, but the door was left wide open with whatever was inside there staring out full of not hatred but a burning indifference towards everything in front of it an absolutely sociopathic view where whatever it sees in front of it just does not matter and should not exist large stone hands grasp out of the darkness crawling against the floor and you see a figure with a crown. It is the king in white. It looks to be made of the same things these new crows are made out of. White granite, white marble, white rock. It stands up. And at first its face is full of anguish and confusion. It looks around in a panic and then it cracks and you see the face lose all expression. And you see something behind it reaching out and stroking his back as if assuring him this is the right option. And then you see him create these new crows and they're not like the phantom queen's crows these aren't just made out of people's bad feelings and negative emotions this is made out of something more potent more tangible and it smiles you are now standing back inside the old gymnasium well, I just had like, uh, the craziest dream. Teachers are walking through the maze, finding anyone who might have like ducked into a corner in a panic or something. Um, you hear kids muttering about how, where was that giant prop hidden? Like I saw it for like three seconds and they're greeted with the same answer. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Um, you hear the posh panda on the, from the school newspaper furiously taking notes about how this fundraising event just went completely off the rails very quickly. And the four of you are escorted outside of the old gymnasium. I had a weird dream too, Lenny. What happened Where? in your dream? Were you guys in the cemetery? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah, it was like it was like you know where we felt, had, where fought little, the Phantom Queen. Uh, felt a little but like, less like a dream and more like a, a vision. Oh. Well, it had to have been a dream some of some sort because <laughs> the Orpheus was a crow, and we all know that's not true. It. Uh, I. Do we? If this was brought on by Maat and Anansi, Maat is truth. Anansi tells stories, but it's not, it couldn't have been laced in a lie. No. What we saw was real. 
or a manifestation of, of something that has happened or could happen. Has anybody been to the cemetery recently? Have we actually seen seen what it looks like since since the last time we were there? Because I think that if all those keys were just floating around, we'd be dealing with a lot. Well, maybe, maybe that's why everybody can see what's going on now. Because all of that magic is currently uncontained. Have we ever talked about how bizarre it is that the school even has a cemetery? I mean, it's not the school's cemetery. It's just a cemetery near the school, right? It is not the school's cemetery. <laughs> North Point, well, like, the town, existed before the school. Amount, a disproportionate amount of people buried there are students, like former students. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere I mean, Kim, who actually was buried there, looks up from whatever she's doing and goes, my ears are burning. <laughs> I feel as though, I mean, I think I've said it before. I'm fairly certain that North Point is on a hell mouth or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think maybe if there's some weird, strange marble dude with a wicked smile currently in possession of or in control of the keys we should maybe look into that yeah um yeah the, the the king in white the king in white does anybody know anything about him i don't mess with white things so pr no i mean uh, i the king in white that sounds, it like, sounds a like a play like a like a like a performance title yeah, it's like, like I, a very Eurocentric. I know the king in yellow, but that's like a different thing. Well, what, I what mean, the king, the king of yellow is, is Hesher, uh, one of the the the, the great uh, deities of of the Cthulhu pantheon, uh, who uh, oh. drives people to madness. The oh. the story is that like there's a play about the king in yellow uh, that if reading it will drive you mad and there's a story written about someone who finds that play i have a question out of character for the gm the storyteller yes. uh did the creature that we we fought before you called it the rook did it actually look like a rook as well did it have like it did. rookish like sort of uh qualities to it um it kind of looked like a rook in chess okay so we have the rook in chest and and it was the white marble kind of thing right same okay. and texture then we have as the dog creature the from king yeah. in white also looked a bit like a chess piece perhaps he yeah. did um is there a chess pantheon probably not a chess pantheon but now i'm was the dog i mean i i, I like chess i can play pretty well um Maybe was the dog the... figurative of the knight? Knight or pawn? No, that would... A pawn? Probably a more likely a Probably pawn because like a knight would be like a horse. Or... That's what I was. Yeah. So this is sounding more and more like. That is interesting. It's just interesting because last last the last person that was in in control of all the keys, you know whole motif was like black and feathers and and you know kind of like uh you know gauzy and and and, and floofy uh but this is like you know granite and white and like well it's yeah kind but of cool it's kind of a cool opposite thing sorry i'm getting caught up in in stupid stuff no I no i think i cool. think you're you're onto something because like oh. it's like i know like the crows and stuff were like feathers and whatnot but that was like the morrigan but like she herself was like she was bone white and she was oh. the she was the queen and like oh. she was out on her own the phantom queen she was the phantom queen and she was traveling on her own, going all kinds of crazy directions. Oh, oh, there's oh. also the oh. king in white. Did you guys ever read uh, the book that Alice in Wonderland was based on? Or like, you know, the you movie King Glass, on? you mean? Yeah, they have a white yeah, king in a, that. But I don't know. Whole chess game. Like that book is just chess. 
The whole the whole book is about making chess moves. Like she she travels through the world uh, by making moves uh, that are like it's it's just a book about chess. That that's all through the looking glass is. Well, they have a white king in that. Uh huh, and a white queen. Um, Stephen, out of character, really quickly. Yes. Because we have said that Kwame likes to read in, in the libraries and things, there are things that CB knows that I'm wondering that Kwame w- it would be, it, it's not something that, that's just going to come out of Kwame's ass. I completely that's- understand. Um, my rule of thumb is if it's logical, this character would know it, I don't have a problem with it. Um, okay. But if you'd like, uh, you can make an intelligence roll real quick. I'll just I'll make, uh, make it difficult to five. I'll make a roll. And, and furthermore, got a nine. Manny. Hell yeah, you know it. Whatever it the, is, I don't know what you're talking about. Orpheus was a rabbit. A black um, rabbit. It was always late for a very important beat. That is something to note. Um, um, I mean, at this point, look, anything can be real, right? Uh, I'm not saying the Easter Bunny is, but uh, who knows? There is a goddess of chess. There, there is. Kaisa. Well, what she she's like? well, she's like the, some Greek, not really Greek, more like Thracian. Um, actually created by a poet. I don't remember his name. Um, I'm just. I don't think that could be a thing. But if it is a god. There is a goddess of what's happening. That's cool, Kwame. Wow. Cool that you know that. I mean, like, I, 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 um, I mean, that's, that's awesome. I like, like books. Like, 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 not like 10 minutes ago, you're like, I don't know if I'm like contributing. And here you are. Like, like, you're like, you're like taking out fiends and like dropping knowledge. Cracking the codes. Okay. That's, um, Okay. Um. I. Yeah. I. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't say I You're wasn't. You're doing a good job, Kwame. I still don't want to be on the school safety squad. Anywho. <laughs> um, um. Unfortunately, I don't think you have any choice about that anymore. You have now. Uh. You have now defended the school against uh monsters twice, which definitely makes you a part. Of You've basically school. been initiated by your own hand. Yeah. Life is a series of uh, doing things that you don't want to do, uh, but trying to get them done as quickly as possible. Oh, that was With too real. Too oh. real. Um, oh. As oh. Lenny <laughs> drops a very grim worldview, uh, Manny and Dahlia, you hear your names cried out as Nanako comes running up and she just hugs both of you. Oh, oh my God. I was, oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? You turned into Nana Nanako bought five thousand in there, and we were a little bit worried about you. Yeah, no, that happens when I get really, 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 really stressed out. But I, I heard the car. I I heard there was like a car accident or something, and I I was really scared. You guys were hurt. I'm glad no, you're okay. We're fine. Uh, Lenny is also okay. In case you were wondering. Yeah, I'm like. Oh, I'm oh. like real good. That's is, good. So uh, is, is 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 it like is like the haunted house over? Because like I, I kind of want to go. Again. I think they're shutting it down. Oh, you think they'll like let me go one more time? You should take Nanika with you so that she can properly experience it. I could probably talk to some people. Oh, sick. Um, Lenny will totally protect you, Nanika. I know a lot of uh, a lot of the people, especially in the drama club and the horror club. They only got like two groups, so we could definitely probably sink another one in. Uh, you know, I think I'd rather go with Kwame if that's okay. Yeah, he did no, a really okay. good job protecting me last time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put you at the I mean, top you, of the list for the next house we do. You don't. You don't want to go with you know big strong. Lenax, you know, not scared of this at all. You know, he's strong. He, he, he. No, he, it's, it's like super scary. <laughs> it, it got me like real good. No, 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 no. Lenny How is like. all three of you go together? Oh, that's a great idea. As Kwame realizes, not only have they been dragged into a club, they 
did not want to join, but have been volunteered to do the next Haunted House. We come to a close on this chapter of New Pantheon Action. I'm going to get murdered, y'all. <laughs> Kwame is going to murder Manny. <laughs> I'm just like, hold on. How did Kwame get back into that? Maybe <laughs> offered. <laughs> Manny's the worst. I love him so much. Kwame was out, but Manny dragged right back in. <laughs> you were so out. There was, and oh. I just want the record. Spiro right to the side. Biggest grin. So happy. Spiro's going to get punched. Yeah. In his, in his gut. Y'all, y'all thought y'all were chaotic neutral. <laughs> Manny is chaos. Manny wakes up every day and chooses chaos. Truth in so, chaos. Truth in chaos. If, if that isn't this show. The truth can be chaotic. Mm. Mm. Ain't that this year. So, Anyway, thank you so much for joining us here on New Pantheon Academia. My name is Stephen Pope. You can find me on TikTok at Stephen Pope 101 or Instagram Stephen J Pope 22. I'm gonna find a new handle. I'm gonna figure out something here. I'll figure it out. I'll get I'll get to you guys next week. But uh, remember, tomorrow is an all new episode of Broken Pact, our official D and D show sponsored by Wizards of the Coast. 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, right here on Saving Throw. Oh, and also on the Fantasy Network. I cannot stress how great this show is. Go check it out. It's wonderful. Uh, and you got we got a lot of great stuff in the pipes here at Saving Throw, so keep an eye on stuff. Uh, Aki, where can they find you? Are you on Hi. Saving Throw? Pro? I forget. Well, I mean, if you let me, if you let me talk, Stephen, I, 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 I can tell them. No, I love you. Hi, everybody. I'm Aki. You can find me on Twitter and I guess Instagram, though what's the point of Instagram during a pandemonium? Um, at uh, Mix Genie in a Bottle. That's M-X-G-I-N-I-I-N-A-B-O-T-T-L-E. My entire Twitch schedule can be found over on my personal Twitch channel, which will eventually live again. I've, I've been taking some time off. I, I think it's been good good for me. Um, and that's twitch.tv slash Shidari Aki. That's S-H-I-D-A-R-E-A-K-I. Um, yeah, you can catch me here on Saving Throws Show on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. playing All Games No Masters, the gm list TTRPG show that I produce uh, in partnership with Saving Throws Show. And uh, we have been playing Dialect. We are going to be playing part two of Dialect this upcoming Wednesday, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we're already having a really great time creating this language together. And uh, I have an amazing cast. And then, of course, you know, I'm up to a bunch of other really, really cool stuff. Uh, you should check out uh, the games I play with Chaos Initiative over on uh, D&D Twitch and Roll20, respectively. Uh, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, as well as uh, our Star Wars game that we just started a few weeks ago called Desperate Gamble. I play uh, this really, really cool Chiss Explorer who uh, is a little homesick right now and missing their mama. Um, um, oh. And yeah, it's 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 good time. Uh, there's one more uh, really cool thing that's happening, but I'm gonna let CB uh, introduce that. Very cool. Uh, real quick, aren't Chiss what Thrawn is? Mm -hmm. I love that. Well, CB, where can they find you? Uh, hey, my name is Omega Jones, also known as the Critical Bard. Critical Bard across all social media channels. Uh, active vocalist, Hot Mess Incarnate. You can find me mostly on my Twitch. I'm a full-time Twitch streamer, streaming four to five times a day. No, four to five times a week. <laughs> That's a uh, minute. <laughs> when do you eat? Uh, no. Have you heard no, no, of a thing called self-care? <laughs> <laughs> Who is she? I don't know her. It must be a local. Um... <laughs> I'm but, <laughs> but yeah, uh, four to five times a week, um, doing a variety of different things. Um, just very excited to just be thriving as a black queer creator on this platform. Oh, yeah. Um, like Aki said, um, starting literally two weeks from yesterday, uh, over on my channel at 1 30 Pacific is Let's Get Wild Mount, a DD 5e campaign set in Critical Role's Wild Mount setting. It's going to be very amazing. Uh, super awesome cast, so amazing characters. Can't wait to dive into the show. Um, it's going to be pretty great, I think. Uh, hopefully, come check that out if you want. Uh, other than that, uh, is there anything else I'm doing that I can really think of that I can talk about? Um, oh, every Saturday, um, 
No, that's a lie. We're changing that now. Uh, I, I do D&D with the homies, uh, which is another all-black D&D campaign uh, nice. that Cypher of Tear um, runs. We are figuring out a new day. I can't say why, but the show might be coming back in a different way. Uh, anywho, check that out on my socials. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. I think. Yeah, I think that's it. Very cool. Uh, Mika. Hi, I'm R.I.P. Mika. Uh, I stream Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday on Twitch. You can find me at R.I.P. Mika on Twitch or any other social media site. I'm also here every Sunday. And for the month of March, I am uh, doing Minecraft Mondays with my stream team, group of only uh, female streamers. So if you want to watch a lot of females run around Minecraft and have a lot of fun, I think we're getting married tomorrow. We're marrying a lot of people on the server. So <laughs> if you'd like to check that out. We're doing that tomorrow. I am officiating a bunch of female ex female weddings. It's going to be great. <laughs> I support this. All right. And Eric. Hi, everyone. I'm Eric. You can find me uh, streaming on twitch.television, mostly Eric, I stream during the weekdays. Uh, and I'm also mostly Eric on all social media like Twitch, Twitter, and, 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 and TikToks and all the teas. Uh, and uh, you can catch me Fridays on twitch.tv slash Kyle McCarley, uh, where uh, our show Board and Barrel, where we play a bunch of board games with, with some buddies, and it's a good time. Fridays at uh, 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Awesome. Special thanks to Dom Zook, who runs everything behind the scenes. Thank you very much, sir. And Hi, thank Dom. you for tuning in. Uh, we will see you next week for more New Pantheon Academia. Until then, catch you later. <laughs>